but with the confidence of knowing the strength and depth that they have in their disposal. They can turn this tie around against the Swedish opposition. And it's headed away. Seconds falls to McCabe. Arsenal will try and probe down this left-hand side. And the shot comes in. That's the first piece of goalkeeping work for the visiting goalkeeper and their captain. And Arsenal get in sight of the goal and taking those shots outside of the box. And I think with, with Mariona, she likes doing that. Going for it. Ball looking for the run and it falls kindly to Mead who then hits the deck as the goalkeeper makes a massive intervention for the visitors early on. A sense of deja vu there with Beck Mead being in the right place at the right time as she so often is, as she was last week in fact, Jilly. But for a fine save by Falk denying her on that occasion and an important stop there as well. Yeah, it's a great run from Beck. Fluent in both languages, the football <laughs> slang, the English and the Spanish as well. Arsenal's defence still under some pressure. Kadina, and it bounces, it falls. And Hacken almost gifted an opportunity there to open the scoring this evening. Kadina trying to make the block and then Ruben Moy comes over and the space just opens up but the target is missed. And that's a bit of a let off for Arsenal. Yeah, it is a big let off. And I, and I feel like with Hecken even in the first leg, like, they look dangerous every time they come forward. Build that tempo and rhythm up again. They had a nice little spell of a couple of minutes. Can they create something now? Mead plays it back. Stenius is there. Russo looks to tee up the shot. And even as the ball was rolling towards her feet, Russo surrounded by players in yellow and black. But a good move. Arsenal picking up the ball and importantly, Jilly moving the ball about quickly. And that's what that's for me, I feel like. What it's a good run from Russo, picked out by McCabe. Some good footwork from Russo. The shot comes in and it forces the save. And it earns a round of applause from the boss. Corner for Arsenal. There's yeah, a really tight cut there from, from Russo here. She's able to see it, but she's able to shift it onto her right foot. Drills it to the knee. Russo. Through to Volti, who cuts it back. And the cut back. And in still, it's easy to mark when you're a defender. It's when you have them players checking to feet and other players taking that third player run. That's when Arsenal look most dangerous. Volti with the shot. And there is that goal for Arsenal. They break the deadlock. Back into the team. It's Leah Volti with a brilliant strike. And what an important one as well. The home supporters waving their red and white flags aloft. That was the goal that they needed. That was the strike to lift the spirits. And could that be the start, Jilly, of a comeback for Arsenal? Well, every Arsenal fan is going to be hoping that as well. And, and what's great about this is this, this isn't something that Arsenal have really been doing of late. You know, taking them long distance shots. They've been trying to walk the ball into the net and with the crosses and, and trying to be really intricate. And Vought is coming straight onto, into this game and has pulled one from distance. And rightly so, you know, she's, she's a brilliant finish and it's an important goal for Arsenal. Pulled the trigger outside the box, but the technical ability to hit the ball like that, it licks the underside. In comes that delivery. It's a really good delivery, and it should have been put away. Stina Blackstenius with the run. It's the kind of delivery, Jilly, that centre forwards live off of. Yeah, that's a beautiful delivery because it's curling away from the goalkeeper. The goalkeeper, you see, she takes a step forward, then she. So on the right, supported by Lotta Wubamoy. That's a neat bit of skill from Fox. Olympic gold medal winner. With the, the, the years and she's always managed to keep fighting and turn up on big performances when needed and made big saves so it's always healthy. A move is on for Arsenal, plenty of bodies committed forward. Need unable to control the ball but the attack still is alive and it falls kindly for Mariona 
and Arsenal take the lead. Doubling their advantage this evening and nudging ahead in this tie. The highly decorated Champions League player opens her account for the Gunners. And what an important goal that could prove to be. It was an attack that was far, far from fluid, but Jilly, it was clinical. It was messy, it was scrappy, there was rebounds and deflections. And it's one that even when Mariana had that shot, I was just waiting to see, is it gonna go and hit the sideboards or is it actually gonna go into netting? But you're looking at the numbers that Arsenal had on that attack, the transition, Hecken couldn't get around, they don't deal with it at all. And you've got to be there in the right place at the right time. And yes, Arsenal do get that bit. Again, on the move. Out to the goal scorer. It's a nice dummy. It's a good ball. Mead was there. Mead. The press, as Gilly was saying, far more aggressive from Arsenal. As the half-time whistle blows. And Arsenal, courtesy of goals from Lea Volti and Mariona Caldente head into the break. Two goals to the good. They have turned this Champions League tie around leading. Although the, there were a few occasions, a few loose passes that did enable the visitors to mount an attack. It's going to need to be a very... Looked a lot more comfortable tonight with her in there. That's a loose ball back from Mariona. It's an early chance here for Hecken. And those gloves have been tested do in this competition with this current crop of players yeah 100 percent and i think you learn so much from those types of losses and the way it happens the cave now with a chance to cross the ball in the header comes in a good bit of defending but the ball is still in the danger zone and there is beth mead what a goal beth mead scored at the weekend she scores again for arsenal in those areas there's a whole plethora of players you want the ball to fall to and pretty much at the top of that list is arsenal's number nine beth mead making absolutely no mistake with the finish she puts arsenal three nil up and in really good control now of this champions league tie and Ginny, credit to arsenal in the way that they kept this attack alive <laughs> A goal. Yeah, and credit to Katie McCabe as well, who puts the first delivery in. And even though they, Arsenal don't win that first delivery, she's alive for the second one because the ball comes back out to her again. Here, obviously, we see it here. She picks up, she puts it back into a dangerous position. Here, Beth made a little loop over the defender's head and strike right the game to extra time. And they haven't really looked dangerous at all tonight. There's a really good run that's picked up by Russo. Mariona. The shot towards goal, an ambitious one. Clarissa Larissi with the S. Offside flag is up. The ball's in the back of the net. Unfortunately for Arsenal and for Stina Black Stenius, it won't count, but nevertheless. The forward appreciates the service and gives a thumbs up. Serious pedigree. She's probably a player that you could afford to, to give a bit more freedom to. Yeah, and, and also just on that. in a, a little bit more trouble. I mean, it still looks very controlled, although that being said, there has been space opening up on the right-hand side. And there is a save from Manuela Zinsberg with her outstretched boot. And that is the problem, isn't it, Jilly? You can't fall into any false sense of security. No, you can't You can't drop off and, and, and allow Hecken to come back into the game because there's 20 minutes so left. You now, if they get one goal, it goes three to an Edgar. Running, Mariona Caldente. 
and Leah Volte. Miss Falk has to intervene for her team, the skipper. Alerting on her toes is Stina Blacksenius. Typifies everything about her game. Pinching the pocket, driving forward, being aggressive and getting the shot away. And even the contact from the Hecken defence just seems to... It's McCabe. Drafting in from the right over to the left. She's going to chase away. And it falls nicely. Could it be a fourth? Should have been a fourth for Arsenal. And it's the pair we've just been praising. McCabe and Mariona. The work rate created the opportunity. And the recovery defending perhaps just doing enough to put Mary back to collaborate with Kim Little. She charges forwards for Arsenal Cooney Cross. That's a brilliant ball to Ford. He plays it back to Marnham. And Frieda Marnham extends Arsenal's advantage further with yet another galloping run into the box. And a well-taken strike drilled low and hard into the back of the net. The substitutes combining, all three of them, in a really nice, fluid attacking move for Arsenal that, despite the wet weather conditions, Julie Flackerty should see them home and dry. Yeah, I mean, it's a, an all-important goal for Arsenal, and I just think it's nah, it's done and dusted in, in regards to the game. But, like you said, it's the three substitutes linking up. Cooney Cross out to full. And then Marnham doing what she does so well and joining the play late, you know, being that player that comes at the edge of the box. Really good quick transition play from Arsenal. We see it here, touch from full, one touch, back from Marnham to come in and she just calmly slots it into the back of the net. Her second goal in this competition, adding to her tally. She scored the opener at the Emirates on Sunday. And that is what it means screens I can win a corner at the weekend and as they have done here tonight will please not only Jonas Eideral but of course the Arsenal fans as the shot comes in from distance so many questions have been asked about can Arsenal convert their chances and to win by the considerable margin tonight sometimes you are tired you feel like you get that second buzz and that second win the cross comes in, and the touch off of Lotte Bruno oh, could have gone absolutely anywhere, but smothered by Manuela Zinsberger. Dangerous ball forwards, decent run. And made the ball zipping. Needed that for this evening, but all in all, player to player, come out and done what was required. We play out the final few minutes at Meadow Park. The cross comes in. Hand side, Marnham tracking back. Brilliant to see in the 91st minute, a substitute with that hunger. Been an industrious without it as well. Limited Hecken to very, very little. And we'll aim to do so right until the very end as the header is met. It goes wide. And there goes the full time whistle. Arsenal navigate their way through the tricky qualifying rounds by beating last season's quarter-finalists, turning round a 1-0 deficit from the first leg to win 4-0 back on home soil at Meadow Park.